So here we are driving around in Battlefield, but I'm actually in virtual reality, man. Check this out, man. Now I'm actually in a tank in virtual reality on my PS5. This is just getting more and more ridiculous. I am now shooting artillery in VR at Americans. This doesn't get any better. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy, The Virtual Gangster, aka TVG. Thanks for rocking with me. And today, I'm gonna show you how you can play PlayStation 5 in your MetaQuest 3. Imagine you and your girl are chilling on the couch and you got this beautiful 80 inch widescreen TV, just flat, it's, it's 4K, it's, it's IPS, AMOLED, whatever, whatever, whatever buzzword they use to describe TVs nowadays. Hey, your girl wants to use this opportunity to watch Love is Blind. You're cooked. No, you don't want to watch Love is Blind. You want to play you want to play PlayStation with the guys. With this right here, you can actually play your PlayStation 5 inside your headset. So it acts as a, a monitor and it's remote. All you need is your dual sense and your damn headset. And you're good to go. Imagine that. That's insane. This next, this next, hey, when I cut, this next cut is gonna be me telling you what you need to accomplish this. So don't ask. Those are the three essential things you're gonna need. PC, Quest with side quest access, and a USB-C cord. And of course, a PlayStation, because how are you gonna do this without a PlayStation? Like for real. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start off by going to the description and grabbing the link that's labeled download link. And this is gonna have two important files that we need to execute this. So very soon, you'll be able to play your PlayStation 5 and your MetaQuest 3. If you just continue to follow these steps, I promise you we're gonna get you there. So we got two files in this folder, but this folder is a compressed folder. We're gonna need to extract the contents of it to get access to the two important files. So you're just gonna right click, press extract all, extract to the location of your preference, and boom, you got two files right here. It's an APK file and a Python file. Just hold on one second. We're going to go with the APK file. We're going to sideload that into our MetaQuest 3. For those of you who don't know what sideloading is, I recommend you go watch a YouTube video on how to get SideQuest access and how to sideload. It's essentially loading a file into your MetaQuest device so that you can access it. So we're going to need to open up SideQuest. Grab the folder location of wherever the file is that you're trying to install into your device grab that file and just drag it to this box right here in the top right drop it and boom in the bottom left you see it it say all tasks completed that means you have successfully side loaded the chiaki apk into your meta quest device all right so that's step one complete congratulations we made it through step one now the next step is we're going to need to run this pipe that Python file. And in order to do that, you're gonna to need to have Python installed on your computer. So we can do this by going to the Microsoft Store and installing Python. So this particular Python file works with Python versions 3.0 and later. For my example, I'm just gonna install Python 3.9 for my computer just to show you guys how to do this. All right, so it looks like I got it installed. Let me just go ahead and search it and make sure it's on there. And look, I got Python 3.9 on my computer. I'm ready to I'm ready to work. Hire me Google. All right, y'all, so we just got Python and this is your big moment. This is the very moment you've been waiting for. We just downloaded Python. Now it's time to put those coding skills to work. You might get hired by Google. So you're gonna wanna go back to the file folder and then you're gonna go to the PSN account ID. Now this is your moment. This is where you get hired for Google. Go ahead and drop a like for the possibility of you getting hired by Google after executing this code. Cause we finna code in Python. Check this out. Right click the PSN account ID script and you're gonna go to open with Python 3.9. That's the thing you just downloaded. It's all making sense now. Go ahead, click that. And you'll be presented this link. You wanna take this link and you right click and that acts as a copy. You go to your favorite browser. I know y'all still be using Firefox, but I use Microsoft Edge and just go ahead and paste that link. 
press enter and then sign in. You're gonna see this Sony page. I promise y'all it's safe. The virtual gangster will never lead y'all astray. Just go ahead and enter your credentials appropriately so you can proceed to the next page. And what's gonna pop up is this blank page that kind of just says redirect in the top left corner. You're gonna take the link. You're gonna control C to copy the link. Go back to the Python script and then press control V to paste it. You'll press enter and it'll do some voodoo magic. And then at the end of that, you're gonna see a phrase saying, this is your account ID and then you're gonna have a bunch of numbers and letters. Well, you wanna save those numbers and letters, copy paste them into a notepad or Microsoft Word. I don't even know what people use nowadays, a Google doc. Cause you're gonna need that later when we hop over into the headset. So we're here in our headsets. We wanna take the Chiaki APK that we side loaded. It's gonna be under unknown sources and just go ahead and install that app. So now it's gonna look like this. So when you first open up Chiaki, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, it should have a list of all the available PlayStation devices on your home internet. Click the device that you're interested in and it'll begin the registration process. I know this app looks a little weird, looks almost portrait mode and small, but we can adjust that later. Bear with me, the virtual gangsters got you. Let's just go ahead with the registration. So here, you wanna take your PSN account ID. That's the one that the Python script allowed you to retrieve. You wanna take that number and enter it in. All right, so now that we have our account ID entered, hop over to your PlayStation 5. All right, y'all, so if you wanna get your pin, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna log into your PlayStation 5, go over to the settings. Oh, go over to the settings, not your, not your profile. You wanna go down to system, and then you wanna go down to remote play, and then go over, make sure enable remote play is toggled, and then go to link device and click that, and it's gonna give you this pin. So now it's time sensitive, you have about 300 seconds, which is about five minutes, to uh, take this pin and go back into your headset, go into Chiaki, and enter the pin. So let's just go ahead and do that and make sure that you got your appropriate device selected. If you have a PS5, select PS5. If you have a PS4, get your bread up. Enter that pin, make sure your account ID is straight, press register, boom. It should say regist <laughs> successful, register successful. That means you successfully connected to this PS5. You see how it says register? That means we can now remote into this PS5. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now you can kind of see that I'm connected to my PS5. I think the first thing you guys are gonna be like is, the virtual gangster, why is my screen so small? Well, here's the solution for that. On your quest, you're gonna to wanna to go to the quick settings, go to switch view. And so now to make a big panel, and what you can do with these panels is you can actually edit the dimensions. So go back over to Chiaki with this new view, and now you can actually take the corners and drag them as you would please. So you can make this screen as big as you want to make it. Pause. Let's go to these settings. So in the settings, you want to go down to the resolution. Go ahead and bump that up to 1080p. Assuming that you have a decent enough internet speed to sustain this, go ahead and also bump up the bit rate. I'm going to just... I got pretty fast internet, so I'm gonna bump it up to 50. 50 bands, 50 thou wow. So that is everything you would need to set up, at least initially. There's one more thing we gotta do, so just go ahead and click this again. You see how there are on-screen controls? You can actually control your PlayStation with these on-screen controls. Well, you're gonna connect a controller, and you don't want to have this on your screen, so you can toggle off the on-screen controls and they go away. All right, y'all, so here we are.